What is going on, guys? And welcome back to another segment of Hawk Talk. Thank you so much for uh, joining in again. And today, I'm going to talk to you as to why I started my very first podcast six years after buying my very first podcasting mic, um, what I want to learn out of it, and hopefully along the process, you guys will be convinced to start your own podcast here in 2020. So the Take a Mulligan podcast, all about learning from mistakes from uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, and growing from it really came way, way, way back in 2014. It did not have the same name or really business at all, but I had a little bit of a podcast starting because I wanted to try to get into the game of content before I even did video at all. It went nowhere. I had no confidence doing it, hated doing it, and now it kind of resurrected six years later in 2020 in the form of the Take a Mulligan podcast. So I started it really this year because as a content creator, I'm always searching for new and innovative and exciting content. Podcasting, especially video podcasting, over the past few years has just been crazy. There's so many podcasts. People love to tune in the podcasts, watch them on YouTube, and I watch them on YouTube as well as listening to them um, in audio form as well. Um, but it is a huge, huge source of content for me as a creator. My podcast episodes, for the most part, are between a half an hour to an hour and a half. Pretty big gap, but depending on the guests I have on, it could be shorter or longer. That, for me, is one video that I post to my Take a Mulligan podcast YouTube channel. The audio from that is the podcast, obviously, and the video is the video, but now I have a half an hour to hour and a half long content piece that I can chop up into a bunch of small pieces. I've been saying this for forever. Having one piece of content does not mean that's the only form of content you get. I can literally take, if it's an hour and a half, I can get 10 or more little nuggets of info that I can pull out that are 30 seconds, a minute, minute and a half long, and post on my social media account. I can use that for my Take a Mulligan podcast. I can pull that out for Hawk Visuals. I'm getting this endless stream of content. So the more podcasts I film, the more content that I'm getting for my social media, the more stuff I can get out there to, for people to latch onto and grab. My net is becoming a lot wider with my podcast. And um, for me, it's just super important to have this. And not only am I doing this to just generate more content and get my awareness out there more, but I also want to talk to more professionals who are in my industry or kind of in the periphery of where my business is going so I can learn from their mistakes, get in front of the person, and inevitably, I'm kind of pitching their, my business to them. So if it's someone who I'm trying to get after, invite them on the podcast, have a you know, conversation, casual conversation. And at the end of it, hopefully we can kind of come up with some deal where you know, we can maybe do some business in the future. So for me, it's kind of getting people in front of me, literally in front of me, warming them up to the podcast, getting the content, but possibly getting um, some business also, and really just learning from other people who have made mistakes and who know more about this than I do. Um, it's just such, it's such a great way of, like I said, making your net a lot bigger and capturing more people to know who you are. It's all about brand awareness and what you do here in 2020. There are so many people doing this stuff. So to set yourself apart, do a podcast, do a video podcast if you possibly can. I know it might seem daunting for a lot of you out there. I'll do a video eventually as to how I started it um, and the details of it, but it really does not take that much effort to start a pretty minimal podcast. You don't have to do a video one just yet, even though I think that's kind of the home run. Um, but having a podcast in 2020 is going to dramatically increase that net that you toss out there and grab your followers to know who you are, what you do, and what you're all about. So that is why I started my podcast. Um, shameless plug, if you want to listen to my podcast or watch it, it is Take a Mulligan Podcast across all platforms you should listen to podcasts on. We're on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, and all that. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact us. Um, we'll do our best to kind of explain the process more if you think we need it. But uh, for now, thank you, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.